and this is radio. Okay. Hey, Renee, it's Ron. Are you there? Hey, Ron. Yes, I'm here. And I'm. Uh, we have four products to talk about, so you want to go back and forth? Um, that's fine. We can do it that way, too. Otherwise, I can just say what you got, and you can just go from there, too, whatever is easiest for you. I can go through the whole thing, and then we can talk afterwards. That'll work. Sounds great. Okay. Thanks, Ron. Renee Rice is with us, our toy and trend expert, of course, a sneak peek at the New York Toy Fair. Got to be a lot of things going on right now at that toy fair as we're getting kind of geared up for the toy season. Absolutely. In fact, there's toys all year round, but this is the one fair where everything is introduced all the way through next Christmas. So what do you have for us today? What are some of the key components you're looking at as you're out at the toy fair? Well, Ron, we know everybody always loves Lego. It's a classic. And this year, Lego Duplo celebrates 50 years. So, Ron, you, remember, you probably remember the Duplo bricks were created for toddlers to develop their motor skills with the chunkier Lego bricks. So they're bigger, and they're designed for their smaller hands. And it doesn't get any more iconic than they have a new Duplo fire station that really invites kids to build and play with the community setting, things that they recognize in a safe and fun way. And what's cool is they have a male and female firefighter. There's a cute Dalmatian puppy and a really fun light and sound brick that adds to the authentic touch of their play. And whether they're learning to just stack, to build, or to role play, you know, Duplo really offers them a wide variety of skill sets for each learning age. Next, we have games. Games are always popular, and folks are looking to bring their kids into social games. So there's a company called Goliath Games, and they're known for their family skill and action games. So theirs always have a twist. So get ready to make a splash with a game called Hydro Strike. This is a head-to-head -head tabletop pinball game, and you need fast fingers to shoot the ball into your opponent's goal. So when you score, your opponent will get sprayed in the face with water. <laughs> so... Since a sprayer is aimed at both players, you have to strike quick and then lean back or else you'll get wet too. And the first player to score five times wins. So it's great for the whole family. We know that STEM is important um, and, pe and kids are learning about coding and programming in school, STEM to STEAM. Uh, oh, uh, that. So there's a new um, company called Pi Technology and they've just introduced something called PyBots. It's coming out this spring. It's a new coding robotics Robot. kit for kids ages four and up, so kids can play with it at home. And it teaches kids to grow and develop and play, and it turns their screen time into play time. So kids can program and code up to six different pre-designed PyBots, or they can create their very own robot. There's over 150 uniquely shaped, easy to grip blocks. They have rounded edges, and they'll really inspire kids' imagination with this tangible, hands-on learning. And this is the most natural way for younger kids to learn. Now, they can also teach their robots to move, dance, make sounds, and light up using the free app. They've also added 30 interactive augmented reality puzzles so kids can learn even more coding concepts with visual cues and build on their digital skills. Now, lastly, we have uh, discovered this spa Space Odyssey Playhouse. This is by a new company called Sharing Land, and it's about four feet tall, four feet round, and kids can explore the entire galaxy with their imagination and some great wearable space gear. It's constructed of durable cardboard. It's an eight-sided play environment, so lots of room for kids to play. There's sturdy space accessories like jet packs they can wear, space goggles, there's little teleporter armbands, there's communication bracelets, and it even comes with three space aliens. Everything is made from 80% recycled materials so we can reduce the accumulation of space junk. And kids can customize their spaceship with washable markers. And the great thing is when the mission's complete, there's a foldable design that breaks down in just seconds and you can store it until they have their next intergalactic mission. Cool items happening at the New York Toy Fair going on. And if somebody wants to find out more about everything we talked about, Renee, where can they go? They can go to my website at ReneeRice.com, R-E-Y-N-E-R-I-C-E.com. And in fact, all year we update with new blogs and new toys for kids and families. And so I just can't wait to go discover more toys tomorrow at the Toy Fair when it opens. Sounds great. Renee, thank you so much for the insight. Really do appreciate it. Okay, thanks for letting us be a part of your show. We really appreciate it. Joins us on KLPF.